Hallelujah. The brother under the canopy, your wife is at home, but you are here with a lady. What, what kind of prayer do you want to offer? What do you hear us preaching this morning? Your wife is at home, even trying to cook food for you down. But you are here with one lady for, for salvation or for what? For marriage. If you don't come out, you are here to tempt me. And uh, if you tempt man of God, you know the repercussion. You have to come out, please. Salvation first. You will not be able to help yourself, please. God loves you. Thank you. Hallelujah. This man comes forward in response to the prophecy of the man of God. Man of God, I'm the man that came here with my girlfriend while my wife is at home. What have your wife done to you? She didn't do anything. Eh? She didn't do anything. And she's beautiful. You like her? Yes. It is this hall, Javi. I came with the heir. The girl is my girlfriend in Angola. Where is the girl? She's at the back. No. Respect. Uh, that this is the man I call. After Sabi, I want to see you and her. Okay? I want to see her because you are the cause. We are going to ask God the way out. Okay? Thank you, my brother. Emmanuel, my name is Kedesh Kujon, and the woman beside me is my wife, Shoma John. I'm the one, man of God prophesied last Sunday that I came here with her girlfriend. It started in Angola. So, uh, during the time I went there, I knew. So I met her. She said that she will help me and give me documents. That's why we started. Then later, whenever he comes to my house, he likes to watch many television. He said that he likes man of God. One day he would like to visit uh, Nigeria. Last day, two weeks Friday, then he called me that she's in Kotonu, that I should come and pick her. Then I went there and picked her. I brought her to church. Then it happened that man of God uh, gave prophecy towards us. And after the prophecy, I realized my mistakes. So I'm sorry, man of God, for doing such a thing. And I'm also I'm pleading for my wife to forgive me because my wife did not know anything about that. Because my wife trusts me. She didn't, she didn't know that I would do such a thing. So, man of God, I'm sorry. Forgive me for what I did. She asked me about, about my wife. I told her that my man of God invited my wife. She said now she cannot stand the challenge. Then she go back. So, your girlfriend actually has left now after hearing that the man of God was inviting your wife. Okay, so, so right now as your wife is here, what, what do you want to say to your wife? Oh, I said that she forgive me for what I did. I'm sorry, baby. So we thank God. Our brother said that after the word of prophecy, he realized his mistake. That it's as if his eyes opened. And we thank God Almighty for how that word of prophecy not only brought our sister here, but also it brought deliverance to our brother who was actually having a girlfriend all the way in Angola. So let's just hear a word from our sister. Madam, you're welcome. Just introduce yourself to us. Ima Anwe. My name is Choma Kelechi. I'm from Nigeria. That was on Tuesday. I got a call that man of God wants to see me in Emmanuel TV. I came. Then they started explaining what is happening. I was surprised. In fact, I don't even know what to do. I trusted my husband. I don't even know that she can do something like that. It's all the same. To God be the glory that I got the deliverance from here. Thank God for the Emmanuel TV for helping me recover my home again. Thank you. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Well, well, we give glory to God Almighty that this word of prophecy came forth. And as you're standing here right now in the presence of God, madam, uh, what do you want to say to your husband? I'm forgiving her. Thank you, Jesus Christ. Let's put our hands together for Jesus. I advise every home to know God first because to knowing God first is the first thing so that God will help you to recover your family. Thank you. Hallelujah. And once again, madam, for the benefits of our viewers, as you're standing here in the presence of God now, what, what do you want to say to your husband? 
<laughs> Who am I? I've already forgiven her. <laughs> right, let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. We know that if not for God's intervention, an issue like this could have easily led to many things. Talk of divorce, separation, whatever. But we thank God that as God revealed it, God has also redeemed this marriage. And we thank Jesus Christ for what he's done. So we just want to hear a final word from our brother as well. My advice goes like this, that every couple, there is no need of looking outside. Just keep on your wife. Hope on your wife. Do everything with your wife. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. We thank God for your life, sir. Um, we pray that God will give, give you the grace to maintain this resolution you've made right now. Uh, as you're here in the presence of God, we know your past is over. And we believe you and your wife will come back with a wonderful testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. We believe you have been inspired by the clip you have just watched. Click here to subscribe to witness more of God's power at work in our generation today and stay up to date with the latest prophecies, deliverances, sermons and testimonies from the Synagogue Church of All Nations. Emmanuel TV, changing lives, changing nations and changing the world.